ideas of an occupied hollow earth would be revisited nearly two centuries later in 1947, when famous polar explorer Admiral Richard Byrd flew reconnaissance missions over the North Pole. Byrd allegedly reported in his private journal about a mysterious land beyond the North Pole, which he called the center of the great unknown. Admiral Richard Byrd was able to fly to the North Pole and back and recorded flying over lush green areas where none should have been. And then three years later, he flew over the South Pole. It's rumored that when Admiral Byrd's task force actually got to Antarctica, that one of the first things they discovered was an entrance into a hollow earth civilization that was populated by very, very advanced beings. Admiral Byrd made a lot of unusual statements, including talking about what he called a new kind of craft that could fly from pole to pole. Is it possible that entrances to another world can be found at the Earth's poles? And if so, did Admiral Byrd actually pass through one of them? According to some ancient astronaut theorists, such gateways do exist. But rather than leading to inner Earth, they may be portals to another dimension. But whether an other Earth exists in another dimension, under our feet, or in a distant galaxy, what would its discovery mean for the future of humanity? If we were to discover the other Earth, the place we have sought, the missing world, it would be profoundly humbling. So this would be quite a paradigm shift. History would change in a very major way.